Hello and welcome to NetTree Media's graphic design tutorials. My name is Mike and today I will be demonstrating how to create a Mother's Day design to post for your company or to just stand out on social media. Let's get started. Open up Photoshop, go to File, New. I like to create mine using inches and I like to do four inches by four inches. I like to keep my resolution at 300 and RGB color for a non-print file. Go create. And for inspiration, I like to use Pinterest. So let's go there. And then just type in whatever idea you're looking for. Mother's Day design. So here like this, I like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to innovate it. So we have a font similar to this. We can use this border here and we can get some stock images of flowers and keep it simple. So go to a new tab on Google, type in rose png or roses okay hit images and here we have some stock photos uh, this kind of looks like what we had hopefully it has the transparent background once this little thing down here stops loading yes okay cool so I do like this it's in a high resolution which is very important um, mainly for Instagram I mean you can go as low as 600 for things without looking pixelated but for full legibility and best clarity I would go over a thousand this is more than enough so this is perfect just right click it go to save as save image as um, normally you would have a folder set up with what you're working on save it there and what you can do is just grab it from down here drag it on over to your Photoshop and then you're gonna let's see you can move it around and you can go to the corner here press shift alt and then bring it down and it'll move it evenly now let's see if we want this up here actually let's look at our example okay cool so it's coming in from the sides so maybe you do like this so to do that is uh, let's see control T and then you can just hold down shift and it'll move it evenly at, at your even angles and press enter when you find your the way you want it see now that might be okay and then we can just go here right click duplicate layer okay drag it down and then hit control T shit hold down shift and put it the opposite way all right now let's go here hold down click your rectangle you're good there so this just means it's going to be an outline stroke and this is going to be how thick it is this is going to mean that there's no interior so it's going to be just a line. So we'll go here like this. And we'll make it bigger by going here. That sounds about right. Set it in place. Let's drag this down below the other two. And there we have that. 
Okay. So make sure it's even. Or as even as it's going to get. Let's take a look back here. Okay, so it's a little bit thinner. So all we got to do is go back here and over to this. Oops, sorry. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want. We're going to go right there. And let's see what else is next. Maybe we could have got pink roses because the colors are pink. Hmm. We could always do that. Let's go here. We could even do something different and use these or use this. Whatever you find you like, I'm sure you can innovate and make it work. Well, let's just go ahead and keep going here. All right. So you want to have your logo branded on most everything that you post. do that down there we can do a lot of times you're gonna want to do this actually separate so it fits better so you can go control T hold down shift and drag this out to make it bigger. Fit it in here like that. Control T. Just find a cool place to fit it in. Maybe like that. See how it kind of flows in with this. Okay. Make it a little bit bigger. Bring it back this way. Happy Mothers. So you think you're always going to want to keep your lines all lined up. End of the day. Make this bigger. Bring it down here. And then just play with it. Play with the placement. Play with the size. Use your arrows. lock these together or we can just highlight them all and go like this I went ahead and found some roses so let's 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 make these go bye bye real quick and go here Let's just use these ones. Save image as. Save. Let's grab this. Drag it on over. And size it up. Shift Alt, hold down. And bam. And we can twist it around by holding shift we can make it bigger by holding shift alt at the same time okay then just duplicate 
and here's another trick go to edit down to transform flip horizontal and then you have it the opposite way so now all you have to do is adjust in that way okay then what we can do is we can put well, we can delete these two and we can put these two under the words that way they don't affect it at all all right looking better now maybe just even this out Or even leaving it there okay let's add in a background to match this one here this is like um, just do like paper paper texture or let's see paper paper texture go to image got something like this at a 600 there we go that's better see how that one was 600 always look for one that has more this one has more it's 1024 so that's basically HD let's uh, let's try this one 13 10 13 that one okay see this has watermarks do not want to use this one let's just go ahead and use this one right click save as throw it in your file downloads drag it drop it okay set your placement by hitting control I'm sorry shift alt let go hit enter drag this down to the bottom one more there it is so that is that that's that one now this we can make even same space between here and here uh, let's see this one we can probably highlight them so you hit shift go to the top one so select this shift that one or shift that one it'll just hold down shift and it'll it'll highlight all of them you can lock them together if you like where they're at now we can make this a little bit bigger and it's center There we go. Maybe bring it down just a tad. There we go. All right, cool. That's that. File, save, file, save as, name it, Photoshop for your main file. Always save that first, then go up here and save your web file as a JPEG save we have one already so let's go ahead and overwrite that one always a 12 maximum hit OK and you're set well folks there it is if you liked or learned anything please hit the subscribe button smash the like and if you have any questions or you want to see any other tutorials done please feel free to comment below thanks for joining until next time